So there's no way for me to get this on camera, hold the camera and uh, show you at the same time with the uh, starter being as heavy as it is, but we're ready to put this thing in. Um, I wanted to show you uh, the, the, the way I was able to get it out. This being a uh, manual transmission is uh, pulling the slave cylinder off. Um, it was the only way I, I fiddle farted around with it. I, I, I thought I had pulled a starter out before with the slave cylinder still in, but I, I don't, uh, I could not do it. And I didn't want to break anything on the slave cylinder itself. So I just released it um, and very carefully and pulled it aside. Make sure you don't uh, pull the rod out or make sure you don't ever push on the clutch. You'll blow that whole thing out. This is very important. When you're doing this there's no reason really to get in the truck and push on the clutch but just make sure that nobody else gets in there and fiddle farts around or anything because you'll you're going to be in the middle of a, a, a slave cylinder replacement and that's no fun the replacement's not bad but the bleeding is can be pretty difficult so um the important thing is is when you're uh putting it back in this is a little inspection hole and uh, when you pull that out of there, you can look right in there and see the dimple on your clutch fork where the rod itself needs to sit. So um, grease that up a little bit. And uh, when you're sliding it in, uh, before you cinch it down, make sure that it's it's uh, seated in that, uh, that uh, indentation right there. That's where it needs to sit. And, and this inspection port makes that real easy. So that's kind of nice. So uh, make sure you uh, get that slave cylinder back in there properly uh, after you release it to pull the starter out. And I um, got my uh, new starter bracket in there. Don't ever uh, put a starter in without that bracket, but if it's missing, <clears throat> replace it. I got just finger snug. And uh, my slave cylinder clutch slave cylinder down there is loose to give me some uh, room to be able to fit the starter up in there. It fits up in there fairly easily when that is loose. Automatic transmissions, I'm not sure uh, what the clearance is. I assume that it's quite a bit better, uh, but I haven't done one in auto, so I don't know yet. I'll find that out when I change the starter on my 99 someday. Um, so uh, here we go. We're going to poke that up in there, get the starter... Uh, set in place and uh, the bolt started down below and then I'll uh, put that that bracket on up above and we'll move on from there <laughs> 